you should have read chapters one through three of George's Secret Key to the Universe. And this is lesson one. So I put the page numbers here so you can see where to find each word. And the first word is illusion. And on page one, it says, he tried closing his eyes and then opening them again to see if it was all some kind of horrible optical illusion. So then I'm going back up to the very first sentence where it says, pigs don't just vanish, thought George as he stood staring into the depths of the very obviously empty pigsty. He tried closing his eyes and then opening them again to see if it was all some kind of horrible optical illusion. But when he looked again, the pig was still gone. So those sentences around the word illusion should help you to figure out what the word illusion is and be able to write a sentence. And on page two, we have the word indignant. So I'm going to back up just a little bit to where it's talking about the pig had been a present. One cold Christmas Eve a few years back, a cardboard box full of squeaks and snuffles had been delivered to their front door. When George opened it up, he found a very indignant pink piglet inside. George lifted him carefully out of the box and watched with the light as his new friend skidded around the Christmas tree on his tiny hooflets. Okay, so there's nothing in there that really explains to me what indignant means, but I'm going to guess that if I was stuffed inside of a box waiting to be opened and then I was described as indignant, I'm wondering how I would feel being stuffed inside of the box waiting and waiting and waiting. So that might give you a little clue about what indignant means. And you know, if we can't figure it out from the context, our next option is to look it up in the dictionary. And then we have the word destructive. And I think that we probably have a good idea of what destructive means. It is on page five down here at the bottom. It says, like George's dad, his mom was a vegetarian, but George was sure he had heard her angrily mutter sausages under her breath when she was cleaning up after one of Freddie's more destructive outings. Okay, so if I back up just a little bit, I can see the word wrecked. When Freddie wrecked her garden, she didn't feel much love for his pig. And then we're talking about Freddy's more destructive outing. So we have the word wrecked and we have destructive. So hopefully that will help you figure out the meaning to that. And then on page 10, our word is persisted. So at the very top of the page, we have, oh, George, she had sighed as she chopped up Brussels sprouts and turnips and threw them into the cake mix. She tended to cook with whatever came to hand rather than with ingredients that would actually combine to make something tasty. You ask too many questions. I just want to know why I can't go next door, George persisted. And if you tell me, I won't ask any more questions for the rest of the day, I promise. So if she's saying you ask too many questions and he's repeating a question and emphasizing with italics there and it says he persisted, uh, that might help you figure out a little bit about what persisted means. And again, if you can't figure it out from the context, then you can always look it up in the dictionary. All right, so when we come to the writing prompt, it says, do George's parents and Eric have more similarities or differences? Cite text evidence in your response. Write your response below on a separate sheet of paper or in a new document. So again, we can just write the response right here in five to seven nice complete sentences. And I am going to give you a little bit of help here. So in my book, and this is what we would have done in class. We have a Venn diagram. And so I wanna take a look at it. So we have George's parents on this side 
and we have Eric on this side, and then we have some things in common in the center here. And we have page numbers for all of them. So we have George's parents, and we're describing them. We've learned that they don't like modern inventions, that they eat only natural food, they don't like a mess, they aren't interested in the same things, and they don't really trust science. Eric, on the other hand, uses modern technology, lets Annie have grape soda, lets the house get messy, has a lot of the same interests as George and loves answering questions, and he is a scientist. In the center, what they have in common, they're both parents, they both worry about their kids, so George's parents are trying to bring him up right and Eric doesn't want Annie to lie. So they're both trying to raise um, good, well-mannered, um, good citizen type kids. So hopefully that helps you to be able to figure out if George's parents and Eric have more similarities or differences. So remember we're writing five to seven sentences and we're looking for text evidence. And if you can go back to the Venn diagram, then you have some evidence there from the text to use. Mm -hmm.